Dear Boomers, the source is within you and within me and within everybody. Dr. Joe Dispenza recently released a video or a film entitled The Source is Within You. And you can buy that online. And I have seen it several times. The idea is, and I'm going to go into the science behind it in a minute, um, that we can unlock our inner power because that is what our potential is all about. What if I told you that the source of your strength, healing, and transformation lies within you, as well as your negativity, your feeling of illness or weakness also lives within you. So we can tap into this inner power that can change your life as Dr. Joe Dispenza has been talking about for years and has recently gained more of an audience because of it. He holds these wonderful retreats that one day I would love to go to, where, but you know, a lot, a lot of people go because they've been ill or they've been depressed or they need something to help them go beyond the limitations that we have set before ourselves. They go to these retreats, often with a cane or a walker or a wheelchair, and somewhere along that seven to 10, now they're doing 10 day retreats, somewhere in that time period, they suddenly have an awakening and they can throw away the cane, they throw away the walker, they throw away the wheelchair and they start walking. This has happened many times. So when he started doing these retreats, this, this really, this kind of phenomenon with the healing modality involved in his work, it wasn't really happening at that time. I mean, it, it started to grow where this sort of thing started to happen. And he himself did not, would not have believed the potential of this kind of healing power that is within every one of us. And it doesn't, we don't have to go to these retreats to have this happen, although it would be a phenomenal experience with thousands of people in a ballroom meditating for 10, seven, seven, 10 straight days and having a feeling of total limit, unlimited capacity. And hopefully to take that back to your communities. So, the power of the mind. Have you ever wondered how much power your thoughts truly have? And of course, there are so many luminaries that have discussed this over the years, including Dr. Wayne Dyer, uh, Deepak Chopra, and uh, the power, your thoughts contain everything that you need to grow as a human being, grow beyond your ability. Every day we can grow, 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 and learn, learn, learn about ourselves. So um, we can, we bring in the quantum field to this discussion, which I will talk to you about in a minute. The quantum field is what some of my, um, videos talked about in, in relationship to Jean Houston. She talked about the quantum unlimited potential within ourselves with wonderful poetry. And, and I loved listening to her voice, which is very powerful. And I'm going to go back and, and at some point soon and uh, talk to you about some of the things I had not yet covered. So the quantum field is the space of infinite possibilities where everything is connected. You know, in this world here in America, things are very disjointed. And usually they are very disjointed before an election. But we must know that no matter what happens, everything is connected. And the more we operate from these higher fields of consciousness, the lower fields kind of fade away. It doesn't matter really what happens. There is eternal life above and beyond what we currently know. So, um, 
so what we need to do is reflect on every thought that we have throughout the day. Are your thoughts creating the reality that you desire? Not to use anybody as an example, but this morning I was attending a little bit of an accountability mastermind group and two people within the group were thinking about quitting the businesses that we have been involved with. And I thought to myself, well, instead of quitting, do that thing about looking into your thoughts, everything that you're thinking and um, how you are really sabotaging yourself by thinking that you can't do it, there's not enough money, uh, I don't have the t talent, that guy over there is further ahead than I am. This is the kind of thing that can really sabotage you. So Dr. Joe Dispenza is deeply into meditation and he, and the, and actually these seven to 10 day retreats that he does, everybody meditates the whole time. And, you know, they, they can lay down and meditate. They sit up and meditate. A lot of times he doesn't want you to lay down because you're going to fall asleep, which is fine. That would be fine with me. I'm so tired. I'm just kidding. Um, so meditation bridges the gap before, between the conscious and the subconscious mind. And there is neuroscience science behind all of this, which I will discuss in a minute. Um, the whole idea is to focus on your breath and you visualize your mind connecting with the quantum field, the breath. And as you're doing this, you are making the heart go into coherence with the brain. This is, and you're also aligning your thoughts with your highest desires. Now you have to believe that you are worthy of your desires and you have to believe that you are enough for your desires to take root in your heart. So emotions um, fuel the creative process and they, the emotions of gratitude, love and joy are what fuel this wonderful connection with the quantum field. So it, it's a good idea as Joe Dispenza teaches gratitude in a different way. He, you know, we can be grateful for, it's kind of stupid to be grateful for all your material things because it really doesn't bring you a deep inner sense of, of fulfillment. You can buy boats, you can buy cars, you can buy many homes. You can, I mean, most of us can't, but those who do, they, they are sometimes the most unhappiest people in the world. So start with a small practice and you can buy Joe's books too. Dr. Joe, Dr. Joe's books. He has several and you can learn a lot. And also he has a site, uh, an internet site where you can buy some of his meditations and they are truly enlivening. So after this election, I will be doing those meditations again. Right now, I feel like I need to tune into what's going on with make sure that our country is on the right track. So um, we start with small practices, daily meditation, setting clear intentions, and practicing emotional coherence. And the source of your power is within you. It's within you by mastering your thoughts and your emotions. You can unlock the reality that you truly desire. Um, so let's talk about the science behind the source is within you. It's rooted in several different levels of study, neuroscience, quantum physics, and neuroplasticity. The, these, um, the thing about quantum fields and neuroscience and neuroplasticity is now pretty much in the mainstream when you read about people people's experience with you know reaching enlightenment and that sort of thing it does have to do with brain science it has to do with bringing the brain and the heart into coherence these three areas are uh, how emotions and thoughts and intentions can influence your physical reality 
So here's a detailed, let me just go through a detailed breakdown. Uh, neuroscience and neuroplasticity is key to understanding how these thoughts, your thoughts, shape reality. The brain is malleable, a concept known as neuroplasticity. When I was growing up, we all th were taught that the brain kind of loses, shrinks, and there's no way that you can, that the brain can grow. In fact, when you do read and you do study things, the brain, they have shown studies where, and they show not just studies, but pictures of the brain's uh, neuro, neuro pathways connecting, which is what we want them to do. The brain can organize itself by forming new neuro connections throughout life. So the neuron, he always says, the neuron, neurons that fire together, wire together. And it, after a while, it sounds a little bit like a cliche, but that is what happens. When you fire your brain into higher realms of thought, it uh, wires with a new experience in your life. When uh, repeated thoughts that strengthen these pathways much like how a muscle strengthens with regular exercise. This is how it works. The more you do this. So gratitude, I wanted to get back to that. He says that gratitude, you, you, you know, bring your emotions up to higher levels of consciousness and you visualize. I mean, if you need something that will get you through this life, and in my case, I need a, uh, a, an income. So this income doesn't come by watching the news, which I've been doing too much of. The raising your vibrations to this higher level and having gratitude for that which is yet to come and has not yet come. So you are, are visualizing that thing which will bring me income so that I can ride out my retirement, if so-called retirement, because I'm not really retired now. I can ride out my life with enough money instead of worrying about losing everything. Um, so we, we repeat these thoughts that strengthen these pathways, much like how a muscle is strengthened when we exercise, and this leads to habitual thought patterns that influence behavior and perception. We can change, actually just change the brain through thought by consciously choosing thoughts and focusing attention on positive or desired outcomes. You can create new neural connections, neural connections that align with these thoughts. That's an interesting idea. Over time, the brain literally rewires itself to reflect these new beliefs and thought patterns. The principle of neurons that fire together and wire together is crucial in explaining how we can train the brain to adapt to, adapt to new ways of thinking. So, this Dr. Joe, he encourages people to break free from automatic negative or limiting beliefs and thoughts and replace them with empowering ones. This is the scientific explanation for how practices like visualization and affirmation work. They work because by repeating and feeling and thinking higher levels of thought, the brain starts to connect to the that one thing that leads to many things and brings you a new life. Now, let's talk about the quantum field and quantum physics. Dr. Joe often replies to the quantum fields, which come from the realm of quantum physics, and that explains the behavior of particles at the smallest scales, revealing that matter is not as solid or fixed as it seems. And in fact, when you look at a cell, 
or an atom, it is basically not fixed. It is con in constant movement. The universe is a vast field of energy and possibilities. Here's how it applies to Dr. Joe's teaching. There's wave particle duality. Quantum physics shows us that particles can exist in multiple, multiple states at once, both as waves and as particles. And that's why sometimes you notice that people are, people have experienced, peop, uh, you know, uh, in these elevated states of consciousness, you can be at two places at once. <laughs> and you're, you can go project yourself into a dream in another person's head or um, out-of-body experiences and that sort of thing. These particles only collapse into one state and they become observable matter when observed or measured. This is known as the observer effect, the power of observation and intention Joe connects that concept to the idea that human thoughts, which are energy, influences the quantum field. And he suggests that our focused thoughts and intentions can collapse into possibilities and reality. In other words, by directing your thoughts towards a specific outcome with emotional intensity, you can influence which possibilities in the quantum field become real in your life. Energy and vibration are also a part of this. Everything in the universe, including thoughts, operates at different levels of frequencies or vibrations. Love, joy, and gratitude are high frequency states. And as we have discussed many times, fear, anger, or doubt are low frequency states. He teaches that to attract positive outcomes from the quantum field, you need to align your thoughts and emotions with higher frequencies. So all day long, you can turn, have gratitude practices throughout the day that encompass this practice. So the idea that is that when you focus your mind on a desired outcome and feel the emotions of already achieving it, you know, that you've already achieved it. It's not something out there. It's something in here. You energetically align with this potential outcome in the quantum field and making it more likely to manifest. So the potential becomes a reality. And we have also often talked about in, on this uh, channel that there is a heart-brain coherence Heart math, I'm sure some of you have heard of heart math, that when you align your heart with your brain, the coherence makes manifestation a lot more possible. Um, so it's emotional coherence when you, when you harmonize your heart with your brain and the connection between the heart and the brain. Science says the heart and the brain are in constant communication with the nervous system. I mean, the nervous system is what makes this connection possible. Research from the Heart Math Institute shows that the heart has its own form of intelligence and sends more signals to the brain than the brain sends to the heart. So we need to concentrate on rotating energy here and breathing, breathing deeply. These signals in influence brain function, emotional experience, and overall health. And then the emotional coherence, when a person experiences positive emotions like love or gratitude or appreciation, the heart and the brain become synchronized, creating a state known as coherence. We, when we have coherence between the heart and the brain, the cortisol levels of stress go away. This uh, state improves cognitive function and uh, enhances well-being and optimizes performance. 
So when we manifest through emotions, he, Dr. Joe teaches that emotions are the key to changing your energy and interacting with the quantum field. So to manifest a desired reality, it's not enough to think about it, but you must also feel the emotions associated with already having it. That is the key. The emotional energy acts as a powerful signal aligning with the possibilities in the quantum field that match your emotional state. And meditation and brain function. Meditation plays a central role, role in Dr. Joe's teachings and his work because of the profound effects on the brain and the body. And research has shown that regular meditation leads to significant changes in the brain function and structure. So here are the key scientific findings of uh, the movie called The Source is Within that Dr. Joe has been working on for quite some time. That there are brain wave states. Meditation shifts the brain from high frequency beta waves associated with stress and ordinary waking consciousness into alpha and beta or theta, theta waves, which are associated with deep relaxation creativity, and subconscious programming. So in these states, the brain becomes more receptive to new ideas and is capable of reprogramming, limiting beliefs. And then there's something called the DMN, the decreased default mode is part of the brain that is active during self-referential thinking, such as worrying about the past or the future. Meditation reduces DMN activity and which helps reduce negative self-talk and rumination, allowing individuals to focus on positive intent and outcome. Neurogenesis and brain growth. The studies have shown that meditation increases gray matter in areas of the brain associated with learning, memory, and emotional regulation while decreasing gray matter in areas linked to stress and anxiety. And that is in the part of the brain called the amygdala. This is how meditation contributes to long-term emotional resilience and mental clarity. Then there's epigenetics. That's like rewriting your biology. Dr. Joe talks about the science of epigenetics, which refers to how genes expression, how gene expression can be influenced by environmental factors such as thoughts and emotions. Contrary to the older view that genes determine your destiny, epigenetics shows that gene expression can be turned on or off depending on lifestyle, mental states, and external stimuli. So gene expression and healing are, are linked when I talk about what I just talked about. Um, research shows that positive emotional states and reduced stress can influence gene expressions related to immune function, inflammation, and cellular repair. And now this supports the idea that individuals can heal from chronic conditions or diseases by changing their mental and emotional environments. There's something known as psychoneuroimmunology. This field studies how psychological factors like stress, beliefs, and emotions affect the immune system. Dr. Joe says that by shifting mental and emotional states, people can enhance their immune response and promote self-healing. So by integrating science and spirituality, we have a winning way of living our lives. We have, to, we have to practice. We have to keep going. We have to uh, be aware of when we start to fall down that hole of all the negative things that can happen to us. There's going to be a film that comes up here from before. Take a look. 
And also, if you have any comments about this, I know my audience has been very interested in the whole science of of uh, the quantum fields. And I think that in this particular video, I was able to explain it a little bit better than I could before. Thank you.